All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are continuing our weed sector technical analysis videos looking at OGI and Hexo. You know, on both of these, there were just strings of red and gap fills that I was looking to fill. So that's definitely what we're going to talk about on them. Clearly a number of bad things happening towards the, towards the present as well. But before we get into the details real quick, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. So look, I often say 80% of the work is up here, 20% is down here. And I think in a lot of ways, this one kind of says it pretty well, all right? First off, rule number one is you just stay over the eight moving average, okay? It's, it's difficult to get over it when you're under it, I'll tell you that much, right? but when you're over it you should be able to ride it you should be able to bounce on it as you know what i mean so over the eight is a good thing it's even better when you're over the eight and the 20 right so so these two are kind of together and then those are the ones we break what happened though and look the, the cool thing and and the the not cool thing is it, a few stocks in this sector could not get over this hundred moving average all right, a lot of them tried to get close, but actually couldn't break it. OGI, the fact that it break, the fact that it break, the fact that it broke it, excuse me, and actually kind of rode parallel with it, does mean a little bit something to me. But unfortunately, it didn't really translate to much dollars, right? Because you see it as, as as much as it tried to go horizontal, get close enough to the eight to hopefully bounce up, it ends up just kind of shifting under it. And look, that's the first moment where the twenty supposed to do its job and get it over but when you're using the 20 to get over a stack of three other lines i mean you, you, you can't expect too much right and look that's a beautiful candle that broke one two three lines after a bounce on the 20 but the confirmation matters way more than that single line right i know i sound like a broken record saying it but waiting for confirmation will do you really really well all right, and then it becomes good confirmation because let's talk about this one right here, right? This candle breaks two lines. This next candle is a green one that goes up. It's not much of a doji, right? I will say if it's gonna break two, I want it to be even stronger and I'm expecting to get over the like bigger green one that we just passed, right? So we couldn't get over this. This is not monster confirmation for two lines, right? So um, again, that confirmation game is a, is a, is a interesting little line to learn, but um, nonetheless, where are we? Well, one more step back. Look, we filled a lot of this because the peak actually got to the horizontal point. So in a lot of ways, this entire, not the entire, because obviously I would have loved to take this as well, right? Um, but that right there got filled right to the horizontal, right? And, and in a lot of ways, like you can't underestimate that. That's, that's what we hunt for. It did its job. You give it a little golf clap and then you move on, right? So um, I don't want to take anything away from OGI because it literally did the job well. It just couldn't finish it and, and get the peak. But yeah, it got to that horizontal plateau and, you know, I'll take it. Again, back to immediately, right? So again, after it tried to do, we were literally just talking about this, right? It tried to do this 20 bounce and clearly failed. This is the moment right here where things get scary, okay? And and this could have been the day, again, I'm, I'm never gonna tell you what to do with your money, right? I'm not gonna say, hey, this is the day we sell, this is the, you know, I'm just, I'm here to give you my non-financial advice opinions. But when you break multiple, and then your confirmation is losing the same three followed by a gap down of losing the fourth you you can't expect much the days after you know what i mean and um hey even if you wanted to say you know what this one might not have been good enough confirmation for me that right there for sure was and then yeah once you lost that for sure that bigger loss was going to come right so um, and look, I say it often, right? Green, green, green like that when it's just a nice little gap up and then that's a real easy red, red, red one day. As easy as I knew this red, 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 red would be with only these little insignificant ones, I know that green, green, green can real quick drop, right? And 
it kind of seems like that's what's happening, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove and redraw some, some support lines. Let's make a new six here. Um, so I will put one right there. All right, and we're, we're knocking on the door of that. And then really, I'll be honest, the next one kind of comes here. I don't really see much of a reason to put one in between these two. Um, we'll see what the weekly gives us. But yeah, right now, 70 cents actually seems pretty realistic because look, this green is well under the red. Most of them, we have it a little closer to parallel, but yeah, I'm clearly seeing some separation between these lines. That's clearly a real bad RSI green. Looks like it wants to get, and look, this has been as low as seven, all right? So there's players, 4x this thing can go lower you know what i mean not to say that this is going to go for all right that's that's the 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 assumption is there's enough momentum to keep this going down if it really wanted to normally i always say like around 30 is when it's considered like really low and that's where you should start to reverse but when i see a 7 8 reading 950 when i look at the actual box not that long ago um yeah 30 doesn't seem that low in all honesty right maybe you know yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's a whole mess of selling. You're clearly under all the moving averages. That's a, that's a lot of bad things when everything, we only have a couple things we can go check, 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 check on, right? When this checks bad, this checks bad, this checks bad, and this checks bad, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and ask how much am I willing to hope and how much am I willing to let reality sink in, right? So um, look, this looked like a beautiful weekly, right? It made a real strong move. And just like on the dailies, right? If you're going to break two moving averages on a single candle, I need monster confirmation the next week. And you see it, that break wasn't real. We quickly lose the 20. And then unfortunately, we're, we're a stone throw away from losing this eight on the weekly, right? So um, man, 70 is going to put his all time lows. No. Okay. Psh. So 70 is a huge number because it looks like that's the top. Yeah. 71 is where this big candle closed. So that 70 cent line is going to be huge. And then from there, if 70 is lost and again, I'm not trying to zoom in for perfection, but it looks like it hits right there. It looks like it hits right there. It looks like it hits right there. 49 cents could be very, and then from there, look, that green, 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 green up can very quickly turn to green, green, green down. The last thing I'm just gonna say is um, Tilray and ACB, I don't know if you watched that, those videos or not, both of those are knocking on the door for all time lows. That's the only reason I'm drawing that 18 cent line. If two big players in the sector are, are that low, you can't just assume this one won't, right? This one has a plenty of room to, to go before it's that far and by no means am I trying to scream all time low fears, but reality is reality, you know what I mean? So um, OGI, a little more time than I expected to, uh, to take on that one. Oh man, Hexo. So look, real quick, exact same thing. I'm telling you, I was so, pr and I was very bullish during that movement. If you were watching those other videos, Hexo was probably the only one that brought nearly, and actually not even nearly, more than a 50% gain, right? A lot of the weed stocks were relatively flat in January when a lot more were just, I'm telling you, bringing 80, 90, 100 plus percent returns in the month, right? So um, Hexo did the job for the sector for sure. And look, again, just like OGI, it, it didn't quite get to the top. It got to that little plateau, but in my head, it really should have eaten the whole thing and, and come to here. And the only thing that stopped it really was this 50 moving average. You know what I mean? If it broke and it did right there, if it had the confirmation, that would be completely flipped around. If this day was a green, literally just even the, the smidgest of green, because there's just literally no resistance right here. This day ruined um, ruined the run to, to 222 for real. It would have at least wicked. It. Do I think it would have broken the 100? I don't, but I think it would have done something like this. I think it would have come that close to the 100 and then we would have seen a little stick that comes up to that. So um, super disappointing on that seventh day. That's the day that ruined it. And then from there, look, that day we lose two lines. This day we get confirmation that losing those two lines were for real and I'm gonna go ahead and lose this line as well. That's a real ugly RSI and oh man, I mean there's there's 
there's a lot of a lot of reason to get scared here again you know um i'll draw this right here i think that'll be hopefully a, a stop point and then i'll draw that right there I almost drew this one, I'll be honest with you, so I'll at least call it out. Hey, maybe 119, 120 might be able to be the stop point. I ended up going with the bottom of this one instead, but I think I think it, it very justifiably could have been um, 118, you know? There's a, there's a little bit of a science and a little bit of a feel when I make my lines, I'll, I'll say that much. But um, yeah, I, I all things, cons look, I think I'll at least make that line. I think that's a good line to make because we hit basically the top of that and the bottom of that. Okay, oh, let's go just a little lower, sorry. I normally don't go for perfection, you know that, but that one was bad enough, that's good. Um, so yeah, I think these are the next three down, and again, if we can get over, just literally get back over the 50, we should make that fill to the 222 and finish that. But hey, it made a pretty good run. It, it looks like it covered at least 75% of that. And one more time, this was one of the only 50 bangers um, in the sector, right? And then look, I. <laughs> Look how long it's been that we've been under the eight and under the 20, right? I'm not gonna repeat myself, but you do not want to be in a stock that's under the eight and under the 20 on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly, anywhere. If you can be over both lines on all the charts, Ooh, you got yourself a good one. You know what I mean? So nothing great will happen on the daily until the weekly charts look good, right? Nothing will look good on the weekly charts until the monthly charts look good, right? And so on and so forth. But yeah, you, you got to get over these lines before anything is, is really sustainable. And yeah, right now it just seems like this is going to come down. But um, where's Hexo compared to all-time lows? Yeah, these are these are coming into all-time low numbers from there. And, and actually that's kind of an important number to put right there too because that's the last one on the on the weekly but um, I think I'll just keep our lines for now so yeah look I've now reviewed four stocks in this sector all four are looking bad um, I would be very 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 cautious for sure hey I hope you're learning I appreciate your time if you disagree with anything throw it in the comments I'm not here to pretend I'm perfect or all-knowing by any means so um, yeah more videos coming